Let's say that you're a report author and you designed a bar chart visualization to help your users to evaluate sales by product subcategories, but you want to give them a way to filter subcategories to dynamically change the data displayed on the x-axis. You can do this with parameters in Oracle Analytics. Begin by clicking the Parameters tab. Click Add to launch the Create Parameter dialog and begin designing the parameter. Name the parameter as Dimension Selector and accept the data type of text. You only want users to be able to select a single value for the parameter, so keep the Allow Multi-Select option off. From Available Values, select Value. The dataset already includes product subcategory, so add that as the first value users can select. Click Add to give users additional x-axis values to the parameter, including customer segment, order priority, and ship mode. Select the initial value as the first available value, which in this case is product subcategory. This initializes the parameter to the first value in the list when the workbook loads. Click OK. The parameter is now displayed on the Parameters Workbook tab. Continue by connecting the parameter to the visualization. Click the Data tab. Right-click My Calculations and select Create Calculation to launch the new calculation dialog. Name it Dimension. Enter a simple case statement to map the parameter available values to the column names in the dataset. From the Parameters tab, drag and drop the Dimension Selector parameter to the right of case in the Expression Editor. Replace the default value with two single quotation marks. Add additional code to the calculation to specify if the product is product subcategory in the parameter, then map it to the product subcategory column in the dataset. Repeat this process to specify when the column in the parameter is order priority, then map it to the order priority column in the dataset. And when the column in the parameter is customer segment, then map it to the customer segment column in the dataset. Finally, finish the case statement to accept ship mode as the calculation value and end the expression. Click Validate to validate the expression, and then click Save. Click the Data tab. Drag and drop the dimension calculation to the category x-axis drop target in the workbook. Continue by setting up the filter control for users. Click the Visualizations tab. Scroll down and drag and drop dashboard filters to the canvas above the bar chart. Click the Parameters tab and drag and drop Dimension Selector to the Dashboard Filters area on the canvas. Test the filter control by selecting Customer Segment from the dropdown to see the results. The bar chart now reflects customer segment data in the x-axis of the bar chart. But let's say you want to take the design a little further to display the value name on the x-axis rather than the calculation name. Select the bar chart visualization on the canvas. Open the Workbook Properties panel and click the Access tab. Under Label Access, change Title to Custom. Name the label using the Add Parameter syntax for the Dimension Selector calculation. The x-axis now displays the same value as displayed in the filter control. You can also change the title of the visualization based on the selected parameter. Click the General Settings tab. Change Title to Custom and in Name, use the Add Parameter Syntax for the Dimension Selector calculation. Test your changes by selecting the Order Priority parameter from the filter bar and the Ship Mode parameter from the filter bar. The visualization title now displays the same name as the selected parameter. Now you know how to use parameters to dynamically design the workbook experience for your end users. Check us out at docs.oracle.com.